Hey y'all, welcome back to, welcome to the room. It is your girl, Ate, and I'm coming in here for an important time and not a long time. I'm just going to go ahead and get some stuff off my chest so that we can hopefully have us a quiet weekend. Look, let's, let's just be clear, okay? I need y'all to let me know. I really want the men to chime in. I want the women to chime in. What in the heck is going on with the confusion around the charges with Diddy? Okay, because when I saw y'all, when I saw um, hold on, because I just was like, this is, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. When I saw this attorney Lee Merritt talking about I'm tired of black men being scapegoated. I'm going to be honest. I was triggered. Yes, I was triggered because let's not act as if this has not been conversation for over a decade, potentially, no, over two decades about his behavior and the things that he was into. So let me just pull back for a minute because this is this is absurd okay so you see i have actor phase on love right here because he wanted to know when has been when has being nasty been a federal crime see look i ain't gonna even play all of this because this is what is really irritating me. When Cassie came out with her, when they came with the court with the lawsuit, because remember Diddy was like, oh, this is a money grab. We're not about to play this game with her. She wanted to write a book and now this is just a money grab. He closed, he settled that lawsuit in a day. Okay. He settled that lawsuit in a day. All right. Nobody settles a lawsuit that with that much money in a day unless you understand that either you can't stand the scrutiny you've got too much on the table or you know that some of that stuff true then he doubled down and said that none of it he didn't uh he didn't uh, admit guilt but then cnn dropped the video and i don't care what no one says y'all is y'all let me know i don't care what no one says he could have said his attorney then comes out just recently saying that she took his clothes. She hit him upside. She hit him upside the head with the phone. Let me tell you something. The way that man was handling that young lady and that she was a, the way he was handling that girl. He's handled her like that before. Period. Period. You know what? People seem to tend, people tend to forget. Hold on. Mm -mm. Because people tend to forget. And it's really irritating me. People question the truth. People, people really wanted to say, I never saw any of that. They looked in love to me. They were always up under each other. Let me tell you something. You let's be very, very clear. When you're in a relationship where someone has a power, uh, the where the power is not equal, baby, you can sit up here and say what you would or what you would not do. At the end of the day, you're not in that situation. I have been in the military, I have been around individuals who held a lot of rank and had a lot of friends and were affiliated. And if you did not go along, if you did not do what they told you to do, first of all, they would then figure out a way to make it where you were insubordinate to a senior leader. That's one, no matter what it was that they were trying to press up on you about. And then after that, you were not getting promoted, baby. You could go after E6. After you make that board for E6 and you hit them points. E7 and above is all about the board looking at your record and saying if you're worthy enough to be promoted or not. And guess what? 
if the right person talk to the right SAR majors, the right command SAR majors, or whomever sits on those boards, baby, you're not getting promoted. They're going to blackball you, blacklist you, run your name in the mud. So people sitting up here talking about, oh my gosh, but they were so in love. They were so in love. Miss me with that. Miss me with that. Just because that young lady was in a relationship with, um, with him does not mean that he was not putting hands on her now i don't like using um youtube videos let me see if i can find child i don't want to see this is cassie okay let's watch the video i'm gonna turn the audio off This child don't have on any shoes. This man ran down a long hallway in a towel. First of all, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He got socks on. Uh uh. So. Okay. He got socks on. I thought the attorney said he had just gotten out. The he saying he was saying he had just gotten out the shower. He got socks on. Look at the way that man is kicking her. Look at that. And no, sir. Dragging a child like she is a rag doll. No, ma'am. See, and then some. Then I think the attorney wanted to make the statement that um, she did it, and 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 somehow or another maybe she understood that the camera would catch. I don't know, but at the end of the day, the way that he handled her makes it very clear that he has anger issues, control issues, could potentially was on a um, high off of substance or substances. In my opinion, baby, let me put this up here. Let me put this up here because no. And this was not a one off. Okay. I only bring that up because then this man right here wants to say when has being nasty been a federal crime. Let me let me say something to you. What you do in your bedroom is your business. <laughs> Whatever you and consenting adults do is your business. I showed that video because Diddy, in my opinion, and from a lot of different sources, has consistently used his power, his money, his positions, his titles, in my opinion, and with other reportings to get what he wants, when he wants it, how he wants it. He doesn't have to tell nobody why. Let's go to making the band the first season when he made them folks walk across that bridge for some cheesecake. And that was a long walk. But guess why he did it? Because he could. It becomes a federal crime when you are drugging people. And this is the other thing, too, when we talk about drugs, right? Just because somebody might have taken this before, that doesn't mean that they want to be so high out of their minds that they don't even understand what's going on. They so they are so high, I'm assuming, that they don't even understand what's going on. Then you're pulling in a, a, a male worker, okay? to then have in, interactions with the person in the room so that you can watch. You're drugging them, high dose drugging them, then giving them IVs to flush the crap out of their system. You're recording them most of the time from what we're understanding without their consent. So that you can then use it as leverage 
if they ever why are you recording it based on love go go get you some business yeah phase on love go get you some business because y'all are really pissing me off y'all really pissing me off mm -mm. y'all pissing me off all right then we had who was the other fool mm -hmm. we had shine come out and say i basically i don't even know who that man is i do but um at this point I just, mm -mm. everybody knew, everybody knew, everybody knew when that young lady dropped her lawsuit and then everybody was like, oh, no, oh, no, uh -uh. they was in love, they was in love until they saw that video then you have people coming back saying oh man that that that's dirty he and then now people want to separate oh well, now what he did to cassie that was wrong but no ain't no but that what he did to cassie only in my opinion showed his tendency for anger for uh physical physical um attacks come on let's stop playing Let's stop playing. I went over what Boosie said. Boosie up and talking like, nah, man, nah, 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 man. Man, y'all are, y'all are absolutely why people don't feel protected. Because I can't even say women, because allegedly there were men involved too. This is this is it's right in y'all's faces. But because I, in my opinion, I think that these individuals with money, access, and power have utilized their money, access, and power. And they also use that even to manipulate people into their bedrooms, into the back room, into their dressing rooms, into the bathrooms, into the cars, that you also probably feel a little bit convicted about maybe something that you did that you knew wasn't right. You knew that when you think about it now, when you thought about it, even before you even did it, you knew because of your name, your position, and your money, your title, you could do it. And now you want to sit up here and cake for Diddy. Y'all have lost y'all's minds. For real. I get it. People are innocent until proven guilty. But baby, the way he the way he handled that young lady in that hotel lobby, no, sir. The way he handled them folks on making the band, no, ma'am, no, sir. The way he was talking to the male, the, the May Day 26, Danny D. Kane, and the first crew on making a band, no, ma'am, no, sir. For real. Let's stop playing. Let's stop acting like what y'all are seeing right now come to light is not actually was already being built up. Let's stop sitting up here, you men. Stop sitting up here acting like somehow or another that it's not out of line, that y'all have not had conversations, that y'all have not laughed and kikied and giggled about it. To, the concept of trying to take another black man down, stop the foolishness. Stop the foolishness. He took himself down. He did that to himself. Okay? Now, look, like I said before, I'm not up here happy about this man being arrested and indicted and all of this. But guess what? It was it was somebody on the radio this morning that said he did that to himself. Do y'all not understand how long this has been going on? Remember when um, Justin Combs got arrested for the DUI and Misa came out and said, I knew I should have kept my son away from you. What do y'all think that meant? And I'm not saying that she meant that her son was doing the things that he's being charged with, but I do think that she meant some of the stuff that my son has been around and seeing you do may not have been the best thing for him to see or experience. Now let's be clear. If Usher, if Usher saying there was some stuff that he saw that he had never seen before. Justin Bieber, you know, is all up in the mix. Come on. Let's quit playing. Now, they said that Diddy was placed on a routine suicide watch 
at the MDC there in Brooklyn. And, you know, that's something that they say they routinely do, um, especially for someone as high profile as him, which I understand. Look, ain't nobody wishing, I'm not wishing that this man would, um, uh, would do anything to himself. But when somebody's backed into a corner, that is a possibility, okay? It is a possibility. So I hope that they are watching him, okay? Um, his attorney says that he's not suicidal. He's strong, healthy, confident, and focused on his defense. So what really triggered me, I'm going to go ahead and um, share it with y'all. I meant to just pull my screen down. But this right here, they're coming out with a docu-series. Don't nobody need that. Sit down. I, if, you, if you really want to be honest about it, child, my whole um, adult life was the docu-series because, I mean, we, a lot of us grew up on bad boy music, grew up on Sean John, grew up, you know, watching Making the Band, you know, grew up with a lot of the artists. So the docu-series, I feel like it's team too much right now. Sit down, stop trying. And, and the other thing that I'm not liking is um, the way that people are bringing in other folks. Ooh, could it have been, okay, uh, who's next, who's next? I'm just following the news. I'm not about to sit up here and start talking about who could potentially be next and all of that. You have to understand you are dealing with people's lives. And not only that, but you're also dealing with their family. I feel like you should just have a little bit of respect when it comes to that, don't be sitting up here pulling people's names in if they have not been mentioned in the indictment. Um, and I didn't see any names. I just saw Diddy's name as in all the different takes. Here is this man right here. Pause it. This man right here. Uh, civil rights attorney Lee Mayer joined our host for another packed episode of TSR Live. So, of course, we had to ask his professional opinion on all the mess that's been surrounding Diddy lately. And he did not hold back. What do y'all What do y'all think, Romy's? Did y'all miss? Like, oh, okay. We're not gonna go all into that. But um, let's go ahead and hear what this man had to say. Is is that common in these type of cases? It's it's, it's not common. Uh, let's start off. Based on the chart, <laughs> um, were you surprised that no bail was granted for Diddy? Is is that common in these type of cases? It's, it's, it's not common uh, for a man of his stature, of his wealth in this particular system, not to be allowed to bail. Uh, he's, he has privilege to high, uh, highest paid attorneys. Uh, he, Based on the chart. I'm sorry. I, I, I stopped it. Again. Sure this. that he's not a danger to the public or a flight for us. Uh, I, I, I am not a, a, a puff daddy sympathizer. Never had that. So I'm a bias. I'm from West. I'm from the West Coast. I still think he killed two o'clock and we'll get into that. <laughs> <I'm> not... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you know that's why they say it's happening this month. The month that Tupac oh, was killed. They say that's why dollar mm, stuff mm, is happening. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, y'all are watching TikTok. Uh, uh, and I don't say that. I say that in my professional capacity, not as my personal I grew up in LA capacity, but because TPD is in court uh currently testifying that in fact he was hired by a uh, puff daddy and paid for by bad boy so uh, that, that notwithstanding there is a very right, real and i, I have to emphasize this if you all don't mind there's a very real culture of sex trafficking of human trafficking in, in the united states is one of the number one places where that occurs i live in the state of texas where hundreds of thousands of people die a year in this sex trafficking industry uh, it, it it's very well comes out of the music and business and Hollywood industry, which is one of the main sources for funding. And it's not people that look like Puff Daddy who are the main uh, contributors to the system. It's Hollywood mobile billionaires, white billionaires who will never face accountability. I think that Puff Daddy and R. Kelly, I participated in this prosecution because I met his victims. Um, um, and uh, uh, Bill Cosby and whoever else should be prosecuted. But what about everybody else? What about the people who are actually keeping the system going and are creating the most victims and targeting the black community in particular? Uh, it, um, Puff Daddy, if the law, um, uh, Sean Combs, if the law is uh, um, is supported by the facts and he's convicted, great. But 
I am tired of black men, black people, and black culture being the scapegoat for very real demons in the, in, in the American judicial system. Based on the so this is the thing. Look, I agree there is a validity to the conversation that can be had about the haves and the have nots. Diddy was a part of the haves. If Diddy sat up there and wanted to follow suit of other individuals who did not look like him, then it is because and then because see, this is the thing. The thing is, is baby, your hands are too dirty, in my opinion. Now, him saying it's unusual for him to get bail. The reason Diddy is not getting bail is because once the lawsuit with Cassie was settled and he knew he was being investigated for a big for a bigger charge or more charges, he started that him and his affiliates started contacting people and saying, make sure you say it was consensual now. Make sure you say it was consensual. Now, this is what is being reported in different sources. And I also think in the indictment, and so it's still my opinion allegedly, but if I'm not mistaken, y'all, that's what I read, okay? So you were still out here contacting people, trying to make sure that you had them on lock, telling them, I got you, I got you, anything you need, I got you. You're up here, you know, using your, your leverage, your power, your money, your position to then make sure that people sided with you. What did Shine say? Shine said, look, I was out here protecting you. I was out here protecting Diddy. And then he had people get on the stand and point the finger at me. He ruined my life. So the reason that he is not, he is not getting bailed because he didn't act right. Not to mention the fact that he called Kalina 54 times or more than that when Don Rashad dropped her lawsuit. So what 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 part of that does not what part of that is not computing? If two plus two is four. Then why in the heck are you saying it's got dang negative one? If you leave married now, look now, y'all about to make my butt itch because now look. At the end of the day, I don't wish for nobody's downfall, but what y'all are not going to do is sit up here and twist the narrative. Y'all have twisted these you Y'all done laughed and joked about these parties. Y'all done laughed and joked about how Diddy get down. Y'all done laughed and joked about how y'all done set up here. Even Lorianne Gibson, Boom Cat. What is, come on, Boom Cat. Five, six, seven, eight. Boom cat. One, two, three, four. Boom cat. She even had issues with Diddy and Mike Bibbins when they were filming the show. Did y'all see the way he talked to her? And Lorianne Gibson has been working with Diddy for a very long time. That man talked to Lorianne Gibson like she was nobody. Like she was nothing. Let's stop playing. Let's stop playing. I'm not saying that we have to go on here and, and, and say guilty, guilty, guilty. But what I do think that we have to do as a as people, period. But black men, stop playing. Y'all know good and goddamn well that Diddy's behavior from the anger, from the misogyny, from the pressure, from the, the from the, the from the uh uh the stand, grandstanding, from the power position, from the money, from the women, from the drugs to the uh, accused weapons, to the lifestyle, to the parties, to the all of this. Y'all, uh, most of y'all celebs already know that that stuff was going on. And then time the man gets charged. Now y'all want to come out. Woe is me. Absolutely freaking not. No. Now y'all play too much. Y'all ain't finna play in our faces. These are victims out here who have been victims, who are sitting up here trying to be told that they're not victims. That's what anybody, stop it. Y'all know that that's what anybody will do when they don't want to get caught up. Now I remember, remember I told you, yeah, I was going to fly you out. Yeah, we was going to party. Yeah, you didn't tell me it was going to be me, a person I don't even know. You didn't tell me that 
it was going to be drugs and bowls and I was going to have to get high and drunk. Like, not like that. You didn't tell me I was going to next day not remember what the heck happened. So everywhere. But I don't even know how I got the way I got. You didn't tell me I was going to have to sit on an IV for, 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 three, for two hours, three hours. You didn't tell me none of that. You didn't tell me you were recording me. So now if I ever threaten to say anything, <laughs> you didn't tell me. Enough is enough. There are people whom we look at and we feel like they can never fall. David and Goliath, a giant can fall, baby. And so the responsibility is not to sit up here and question, in my opinion, why he's being, I, I get you saying, look, why is he being charged? And Hugh Hefner was able to do whoop do the whoop. Hey, as we get in these rooms, you better recognize you're making your money. The party started getting crazy. I'm fixing to wrap up all my people because I need to protect my coin, my family, my lifestyle, my legacy, and my generational wealth. I'm out. Deuces. See, this to me didn't have nothing to do with what other people were doing of other races, ethnicities. This ain't got nothing to do with that. Let's talk about the real issues. The real issues, in my opinion, were the addiction to power. Because like I said before, power is very seductive. The addiction to drugs, from what documentation says, allegedly. The addiction to X. We got to do better. We got to do better than this. We got to. I don't think he's a scapegoat. Because with all that money and all that power, you couldn't have been that dang dumb. I'm just going to keep it a hundred. You couldn't have been that dumb to not realize at some point. I got to I gotta pull back. You got daughters, bro. Beautiful daughters. You got sons. You can party. You can party hard. But you ain't have to party like that. And I'm sorry. That don't feel like a party to me. And I definitely don't feel like Cassie was having a party. When she's got to sit up in a house or a room for days upon days and weeks until her bruises heal. Because she can't be seen out in public with the bruises. This man putting her head to the floor and stuff. Man, get on out of here. He doing a woman that he supposedly loved like that, and y'all actually think that he was treating workers better? People he really wasn't even, he, he really didn't have no emotional ties to better? Y'all can miss, they can miss me with this. So y'all let me know what y'all think. I saw this and I said, oh, heck no. So let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that this is, what do you think? Do you think it's another time for, you know, another black man to be scapegoated? Do you, he said he even participated in the R. Kelly trial, a case or whatever. Stop it. Um, the whole conversation about Tupac and all of that, he could have saved that for another time. He just had to get that little sound bite in. Like, not saying that, baby, if we was, I was a Tupac fan, picture me rolling. Calla, mm, 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 no side apart. Calla, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> I love me some Tupac, but this one at a time. Or maybe I was so triggered that I didn't want to hear it. Okay? But y'all comment below. Let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all think that this is another episode, instance of a black man being scapegoated? Are you able to separate Diddy, the artist, from the mute, the artist from the personal stuff? Are you able to separate them, still listen to the music? Um, do you feel like my opinion when I said 
you know, he had a, if he had all this money, power and access, he should have known when to say, uh -uh, I'm out. What do y'all think about that statement? Um, do y'all think that he was just railroaded in and he just got a part of the life and couldn't disconnect? Or was there a point where he should have said, no, uh -uh, this ain't it for me? What do y'all think about Misa Hilton when um, uh, her son got arrested, her saying, you know, I knew I should have kept him, my son away from you. I don't want to bring the kids into it in a negative light, but I do think that that is very telling um, of just what must, you know, the type of partying and stuff they did. So, um, yeah, I, I let me know what y'all think, y'all. And I'm out. This man got me hot tonight.